Hello everyone, welcome to this channel. In my last video, I have talked about our large intestine. If you have seen that video, then click on the button and watch the video now. So, there are lots of important topics which I have kept reserved for our special video purpose. From today, I am going to start about our genital urinary system. Okay? And this system starts from our very, very important organ, which is kidney. We have two kidneys one is left side, and another is left side. And those kidneys are actually retroperitoneal structure. It means this kidney stays behind our peritoneum. Peritoneum, I already talked about this in our GI system. Anyway, so the actual position or the area occupied by our kidney are actually our hypochondrium, umbilical, lumbar, and epigastric. Okay, so these are both sides. And it starts from our upper border of T12 vertebra. I mean, the upper border of 12th thoracic vertebra and ends in our third lumbar vertebra. Okay, so this is the actual position. In adult body, each kidneys are actually 11 centimeter long, almost on an average 11 centimeter long, on an average 6 centimeter wide, and on an average 3 centimeter thick. Okay, in male, in female. Now. In male, the weight of our kidney is almost 150 gram, and in female, it's almost 140 gram. Okay, and the external feature of our kidney will be it has two surface. Okay, anterior surface, posterior surface. It has two pole, upper pole, lower pole. It has two border, medial border, lateral border. Okay, and the entryway or the gate or the hilum of the kidney is made by renal artery, renal vein and renal pelvis okay and now I'm gonna talk about the relation of kidney okay so there are basically common relations superiorly you will find suprarenal gland in medially you will find pelvis and its continuation part as ureter also you will find renal artery, renal vein now what are the structure you will find behind the kidney Posterior border of diaphragm, medial and lateral arcuate ligaments, psoas major muscle in both sides, quadratus lumborum muscle both sides, subcostal vessels both sides. Then you will find our iliohypogastric nerve, ilioinguinal nerve, subcostal nerve, all are both sides. These are common relations or the common structures surrounded by kidney. And now specially for the right kidney you will find liver liver actually in the lateral margin or the lateral border you will find the right lobe of liver then you will find right hepatic flexure of large colon i already talked about in my earlier videos second part of our duodenum and few coils of our jejunum the left kidney you will find specially spleen splenic vessels okay stomach then pancreas left splenic flexure of large colon i already talked about in my last video and our coils of jejunum that's it that's all these are the relationship of our kidneys and now the covering of our kidney the kidney is covered by our the fibrous capsule and the perinephric fat also it covers by our renal fascia it has two part one is anterior part or the anterior fibers or the posterior part or posterior fibers the anterior fibers of the renal fascia is known as fascia of zucker candle okay and the posterior fiber is uh, the posterior fibers of the renal fascia is known as fascia of garota okay so up to this much is for today as part one part two i will talk about very soon so till then bye